This video covers eliminating pad knockback with a bare pressure valve. Brake pad knockback can be very frustrating for people who road race or autocross their cars. A C-clip axle has side-to-side -side movement that is inherent with the design. That movement during hard turns can push the brake pads away from the rotor. The brake pedal has to move enough fluid to push the pads back into place. This causes a mushy brake pedal. So when the brake pads get knocked back, the 10 PSI will push the brake pads back into place. I will be placing this valve in the rear brake system. Make sure to watch my proportioning valve video for more information on my current brake setup, as it's not going to be exactly the same as stock. And remember to subscribe. Remove the rear brake line, in my case I have an adapter. I used a 3 8 to dash 3 AN fitting, but you can also use a normal double flare just as well. I installed a 3 8 to dash 3 AN fitting on one end of the pressure valve, and then a 3 8 to 12 millimeter bubble adapter on the other. Please note that my car is a 1992 with factory metric brake lines. Install the pressure valve on the factory rear brake line. Some manhandling and bending is needed to get the line into position. Remove the Dash 3 protective caps. I used an AN hardline for this. These use 37 degree flares and a tube sleeve. Normal hardlines are a 45 degree double flare. Install and tighten the new line. I used a zip tie to keep the rear brake line from touching the steering shaft. The front and rear brakes will need to be bled to remove any air in the system. This valve works very well. It makes the brakes feel significantly better than what they were before. It's a huge improvement. Remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram.